So tonight we are talking to MaxMind. Uh, they are an industry-leading geolocation uh, IP provider. They offer some awesome software. You've probably heard of GeoIP, especially if you work uh, with web development, uh, if you work with e-commerce solutions, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, basically an excellent way for uh, companies that do e-commerce to be able to prevent fraud, be able to uh, keep people from uh, performing fraudulent transactions and things from all over the world. So uh, so we're joined tonight by Ed Lin, and Ed is the, uh, he's MaxMind's business development manager. Ed, it's great to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, Robert. Nice to be here. So if you could just tell us a little bit about uh, what what it is that you do uh, with with MaxMind and, and just in general kind of what uh, what that entails, what GeoIP is, uh, mm -hmm. th that would be very cool. been with MaxMind for about four years, and I typically handle enterprise sales and business development uh, partnerships, uh, strategic relationships with other companies that want to leverage our technology inside their um, solutions. Right. So exactly, like, for those who don't know what geolocation is, if we could mm -hmm. just kind of get into, just off the bat, uh, what geolocation represents, what IP, geo-IP, uh, what, sure. what that is, because I'm sure we're probably making a lot of people go, what? <laughs> yeah. So, so IP geolocation is, is basically the ability to determine where your website visitors are coming from geographically. Mm -hmm. So to those that don't know, IP addresses are like, the phone numbers of the internet. So in order for two people to talk to each other, they need two phone numbers. Uh, on the internet, in order for two computers to talk to each other, they need two unique IP addresses. Right. Um, so our technology takes IP addresses and maps them to a geographical area. So how does that affect the, the person's um, privacy? Uh, is there any kind of security issues with uh, with? GeoIP, that kind of idea, as far as privacy goes? Is that something that, that people would be concerned with? Um, not really, or they shouldn't be, because the with, geo, with IP geolocation technology, um, you can drill down to the city level yeah. for most IP addresses, and for a small subset of IP addresses, you can drill down to the postal code level accurately. So even at the postal code level, you're still one of thousands or one of hundreds of thousands within that geographical area this it's not really possible to get down to uh, actual street address so it's not personally identifiable information exactly so yeah. it sounds to me like this obviously you know a couple of scenarios where geolocation would be appropriate would obviously be like i think about how uh marketing used to be done through and and still is to some degree but uh more so now on the internet than before it used to be done through the mail and you mentioned postal codes and things and companies would target market their products based on postal code because they, they know that, okay, well, this, this area of the city is, is local to one of our retail outlets, for example. So they would send out mass mailing to that specific region because they know that that's going to give them the most, the most bang for the buck, basically, for their advertising dollars. So exactly. is, is GOIP kind of like a, an electronic version of that kind of information? I mean, it's it, it's similar. It's basically empowering businesses to have more information about their website visitors mm -hmm. and what they decide to do with that information. Um, it's really up to them. It opens up a lot of possibilities. You can use it for what we were just talking about, target advertising. Mm -hmm. You could use it for web a analytics. So, you know, if a thousand visitors that come to your website, where are they actually located? Where are right. your uh, viewers located? Uh, so you can get a sense of you know, what you want to do next. Um, you could do server load balancing. You could do uh, website redirection, fraud prevention, um, digital rights management, compliance. You know, some some countries outlaw online gambling, but, you know, there are companies that still want to do that, so they make sure they use our technology so that they can block the right users where right. they can't really do that kind of activity. It's like uh, there's a lot of online television services that are only available, say, in the United States. So if mm -hmm. I, from Canada, log into that website, I'm going to get an error message that says that it's not available in my area. So most yeah. likely a very similar scenario. Um, so as far as case studies go, is there is there a particular um, way that the, that the service can be used from... Well, I guess I, I should back up just a second because we're kind of talking technical end of things so we're looking at it from a developer standpoint um, so 
you know, we can implement this in our websites. Just to give you, the viewers, an idea of how geolocation can work, uh, if you go to our website, category5.tv, and just scroll down a ways down the website, you'll see on the left-hand side, you can see what our top 10 countries of viewership are. And that uses geolocation technology in order for us not to personally identify you, but to know uh, approximately, we were talking uh, with Ed there about um, analytics. And it, it makes me think about how way back in the day, early uh, internet, we used to count hits on websites and that was really all that we could do. Where these days we can actually track with GeoIP technology information like where the users are from, not personally identifiable, uh, identifiable again, but very helpful when it comes to, you know, like in our instance, knowing where our viewers are from. It's very important to us because that then allows us to approach sponsors and things like that um, so that we can target market their products as well.